I've become so bitter, jaded, cynical, and judgmental, and I'm trying to change that. The more I learn about some things, the more that I wish I was ignorant and oblivious to them. Things like learning why some stereotypes exist. Learning why some people have a very, very negative attitude about a lot of things. Why so many people have such hate and or bigotry within them. People who I really shouldn't be listening to. You know, but I always have to be Mr. Inquisitive, right? Once I see the patterns and make those connections in my head, I can't really unsee or disconnect from those things. I can strongly try to reroute those connections to different things, but those unfortunate initial connections will still remain. Pattern matching. And so I've kind of been in a bit of a downward spiral, but like I said in my last video, I think I'm on the mend. But I haven't wanted to see my friends. A friend of mine who lives in Arizona right now, um, was in the area about a month ago, and he just wanted to come by and say hi, you know? There was only a certain, there was only a certain window of opportunity for it time-wise. But I felt so ashamed of what I had become that I pretty much sabotaged the whole thing. I'm hoping to get out of this rut soon and start spending time with my friends again. I've had to recategorize and relabel and just change the way that I look at a lot of concepts. Like the concept of degeneracy. I previously looked at it as just a slur against LGBT people in general. Which it often is. But then when I listen to the people who talk about the concept a lot, in a negative way, I learned other elements to it. But there always seems to be a religious tilt to it, quite honestly. And some of what has made me depressed about the subject matter and my being LGBT myself is this notion that, well, maybe the religious people are right. And that there's actually some cosmic judgment on the sexuality of different animals on the planet. Now, I generally just toss it aside by framing it like I just did. But anymore, I basically look at it like this. If it's between consenting adults, or it's a choice someone makes for themselves that only affects them, then it really shouldn't matter. People make a lot of strange and risky choices for themselves all the time. If you still want to consider that degeneracy, then, then so be it. If it's not between consenting adults, then there's obviously a serious problem. And people shouldn't go out of their way to introduce those kinds of concepts to kids either. We keep kids away from recreational drugs. Why wouldn't we keep them away from concepts that they're not ready for? But there are a number of other areas where I've really tried to get an understanding of why people have hateful or bigoted views. And I've ended up just mainly seeing patterns that I wish I wouldn't have seen. Race, biological sex, gender, culture. And I have no good rebuttals for many of their points. And it's extremely depressing. I would sincerely love for so many of these progressive attitudes that we see about these subjects, I would love for those to be right. But once there are debates, it always ends when the name-calling starts, usually something that ends in istrophobic. These debates are generally not done in good faith. And what's so weird is, right now, it's common for the people who have religious beliefs that there's no evidence or proof for, it's common for people of those kinds of beliefs to be arguing in favor of the scientific method and scientific inquiry in general against people who are known for saying that they side with science who are currently arguing for things that there is no proof or evidence of. When I still had Trump derangement syndrome, I was able to compile all of my hate into one individual. You know, that Trump was the problem with everything that's going on, or that was going on at the time. That he is the embodiment of everything I'm supposed to hate. It certainly made the us versus them mentality quite pronounced. Now I see that so many of the ideologies and narratives that we've been constantly fed from Hollywood and mainstream media are false. I mean, not all of them, sometimes they're on point. They have to be on point sometimes or people would just stop listening. But for many decades, mainstream media and movies and, and all of that controlled the populace. It was the majority of people's windows to the world. And then there's things like Operation Mockingbird. But over the past several years, I learned that there are often very solid reasons for some of the disparities and inequalities we have in society. And these solid reasons very much clash with the mainstream narrative. 
There is an objective reality, and the closer we can get to understanding it, the better. I mean, no one will ever fully understand it, but we can strive towards that. We can strive towards understanding it. If we start heading down the road where we give up on that virtue, and we're instead talking about my truth and her truth, and so on, where it's usually mixed in with group identity messaging, where it's totally subjective, and everyone's supposed to keep track of that subjectiveness, then that sounds like society is in a downward spiral. Is it? It sure looks like it. And it makes me regret so many of the things I used to argue for, not knowing what it was going to become later. Anyway, thanks for watching.